Okay guys, today we are talking about the SEC's rule change that is being uh, um, executed on September 28th, 2021, and it is going to have huge implications on the OTC market. Okay guys, so the rule change itself to rule 15C-2-11 is basically this. It prohibits broker-dealers from publishing quotes for securities whose issuer has not met public re reporting requirements. So what that means is that companies, maybe you own some, that are not up to date on their public re reporting requirements are going to be delisted from being able to be purchased by these companies. So they're not going to be able to list the, the price of the security. They're going to allow you to sell it. They're not going to allow you to buy it. So this is huge. So there's going to be, and in these these companies are already suggesting you sell the securities. So if you're with TD Ameritrade, E-Trade, whatever, they're telling you to sell these securities. So, and there's a list <clears throat> here, TD Ameritrade published a list of 5,000 of these securities. You guys, I'll leave a, a link at the in the show notes to this list so you can take a look at if, because E-Trade is doing it too. All these securities are going to be, you know, basically blacklisted. And you know what this is going to basically have ramifications throughout the OTC market and I'll explain that at the end. So now these lists will also be updated and everything. And you know what is going to happen with these companies that are not up to date? Well, their stocks are going to crash, like crash, because you can sell it but you can't buy it. So, you know, these these companies will be selling with especially with E-Trade and TD Ameritrade suggesting that you sell these securities. You know that that's not good so and what <clears throat> you know and you know what that's going to do the, with the pros recommending that you sell and only what's called expert market expert marketers or expert people in the market can purchase those securities and you know that that's not going to be good because what's an expert you know market it, it's not you i guarantee that so, you know, what the other effect that this is going to have on the whole, the whole OTC market is that people are going to flee these stocks and enter into other stocks that are probably more reliable. So you might see an increase in price in some of these other stocks that have actual sales, they actually have, you know, products and whatnot, and don't have, you know, promises of sales. They actually have, you know, they're actually doing things and they're up to date, those companies will have a, you know, a large increase, I think, in, in uh, people that are buying the securities. So you guys look out for this. I mean, it, it's going to be very significant. And I think, you know, we have, it's, it's going to change the, the OTC market. So look out for that starting September 28th. And if you own a company that isn't getting up to date by September 28th, bail. Well, I mean, do what you want, but the material provided herein is for informational purposes only. It does not constitute an offer to uh, buy or sell or a solicitation of an offer to buy or sell any uh, securities. This information should be relied upon for a purpose of this information should not be relied upon for the purpose of investing in any security.